Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today at Wynette's Crafting Corner. In today's video, I'm going to do a flip through of another one of my six fold journals. So just real quick before I go through each page, you have two journals here that are smaller. Then you take the book, you turn it over, and you've got two more journals here. Then you turn it to this side, and then you have a journal this way. And then when you close it that way, you have a journal this way. So that is my six-fold journal. And we're going to do a flip through of each of the pages now. This is another one of the six fold journals where there actually is six journals in it. I have put some decor on all the edges with the exception of this edge. So if you had it standing up in your bookshelf, it would be like that. I'm going to show you the first journal. So it opens up this way. I have a tag in here. And I make sure that when I'm working on a journal that people have a lot of room to write in. So you can write on the back of that. I added a little bit of lace up there, just a couple of little small embellishments there. I have a flip down postcard here. I'm going to bring it up and flip it down and show you. This is a postcard from 1914 and it's wishing somebody a Merry Christmas. And the interesting thing about this, it already had these two holes here in the postcard. So I took some of my um, Italian hemp thread and thread it through there and tied a bow so you can journal there. You can also journal here. I added some clusters there. Um, added a little bit of lace there. We have a journaling tag here. And this was the idea for a pocket from Eve Spade in which she tore down the middle and then folded it in. I liked that. There's some washi tape there. Another journaling card here. This is in Hebrew. I believe that's from the 1800s. I have an envelope paper clipped here on the edge. And inside there, there is a journaling card. And I think I may have mentioned when I was working on this initially, it, the kit is mostly from a paper cameo. Ava Maria. Uh, this is one of Rachel's little um, faux postage stamps from her kit. I have a small cluster there. I have um, tray. Uh, what is that called? Vellum envelope here with a journaling card in which you can see here the one image and then the other image here. And again, you can journal on the back there. I sewed all the way around it. Nice journaling space there. Um, I went looking for some Rolodex cards in my stash and I couldn't find any. This was an idea from a Libby showed us this at the re retreat at Gail Augusta and Nellie's retreat, but I believe she got the idea from Kelly Lee at Root Pursuit. 
uh, but I couldn't find any Rolodex cards in my stash. So I thought, I'm not going to go buy any. I've got so many. These were the ones that I had gotten at the uh, retreat house, but you can journal there and it just slides in there. Can journal there. I have an envelope here that I did not seal because I figured you could journal there. I added a little French, excuse me, is it French or is it Italian? Hmm. It may be French, Le, Le Troll, yeah, the three, that is French. Uh, book page there and then just a little emblem there. Some washi tape, William Morse washi tape down the center there. This is Florentine paper. And I have a, another uh, glass scene or, or vellum envelope there with this beautiful image of Christ and the Virgin Mary. And then a journaling card there. To the right is some of the paper, and you can even write there. To the right is some paper from my friend Betsy uh, that she eco dyes, and it's a flip out, and you could journal there. And then I have a flip out tag here, journaling page there, and that is the end of the first journal. So all you do is turn it closed and open up the other side. That's your other big journal. I do have a tutorial on uh, constructing this journal on my channel. I have one of my, this journal belongs to, it's in my Etsy store there. I think I added Italian paper here just to, kind of cover those spines on the small journals here. I've got a little tag here again that has the vellum pocket. I just love that when you pull it out, it reveals another picture. You can journal in there. This flips out. Here I added a piece of Triple V Vintages coffee stained paper. You can journal all on the back here. And I did some uh, machine, machine stitching all around it using both zigzag and straight stitching. I did add a little bit of washi tape there. And then in the background here is Florentine paper. And then if you put your hands over this, I did use some Nouveau drops over the top of that. So I don't know if you'll be able to see the raised area. This was from my friend Jesse at Vintage Studio 717. And again, I just added a piece of coffee stained paper here and a little embellishment here. I wanted to have, like I said, embellishments on the sides and on the one bottom. So I just added this right here so that it would have a, a tiny little bit of fabric showing through there. I did do uh, reinforce the page. I have found that when I use a border punch, it's best if you um, reinforce the page that you're going to border punch because otherwise they tear. And I just put a little W up there and just tied a little bit of uh, thread here. Ooh, I can't remember what the name of that thread is called, but Anyway, and then nice journaling spots on both of those. I did do a little bit of stenciling here. 
on a lot of pages, I make sure I have some kind of embellishment. Um, on this page, I had used one of my uh, oval dies that punches holes when you die cut. This was an image that I had. And then I took some gold thread and stitched in and out all the way around the image. And then I just tied it in a knot there and then just left that string there. In this pocket here is just some ledger paper that I did a little bit of decorating on the top. And this bag I modge podged with some book page, some rice paper, and a little bit of music paper there. Nice journaling spot there with a little bit of stenciling. We have a tag flip out there. Some gold fabric there. And in this pocket, I added three different places to journal on. And this is an original and I don't think I have the date on it. I don't know if it opens up, but it's origin original piece of ephemera. It's French. Oh, wait, is it down there? No. And then you've seen me do that before where you take a digital, but then you use a die that is a border uh, die and you lay it in the middle and it kind of gives you that lace effect of some of those old prayer cards. And then I have another envelope here. And I did add a journaling card in there in which I backed it with some straw paper. And then I did just a little bit of stenciling there. It doesn't cover up the page a lot, but it does add just a tiny bit. And then some of the washi tape, um, William Morse washi tape there. A nice little tuck here with a journaling card. A little bit of lace down here. This is my center of the signature. A little cluster there, a journaling card here with lace off to the side attached with a tiny attacher. And then that is the end of the larger journals. Then when you turn it this way, these journals are tied together with just some blue thread. We're going to go on the left side first. I have a, a tag here, some washi tape there. A nice little tag there, journaling spot there. An envelope here tucked in and I like to always make sure that I, that I can get into it. I may have glued that down. I may have to redo that. Oh, gosh. Let me see if I can. Yeah, that glued there. So I'm going to set this off to the side. I'm going to redo this envelope. I like to do the flip throughs and then I can see that. Oh, shoot. That's not going to work for whoever buys the journal. So I'm going to set that aside and I will put another one there. Nice little journaling spot there. Another one of the vellum pockets there with that beautiful woman there. And then a journaling tag. Same thing over here. I think this was just a glassine bag or a paper bag. Some Florentine paper in the background. 
a cluster up there, washi tape down the center. And then this is some of that pet tape. I think I got it from the washi tape shop. And when you have a real fragile piece of book page, if you put some of that over it, it strengthens that page. And then a nice little tag there. I have a flip out here with a um, journaling card in there. A little tuck here with a little journaling place there. A side tuck here, I added lace there. This is original. And then a flip out here where you can journal here. And this is on some vintage music paper. And that's the end of that first small journal. Then this journal here, a uh, small little tag there. Uh, I believe... That looks Italian, a little bit of washi tape there, a little tag here uh, with a corner spot. Another little tuck spot there with a little tag. Eyelash lace, that's the name of that. It takes me a little while sometimes to come up with the names. Uh, some washi tape down there. Here's another one of those. I'm going to just flip that open. One of those index card journaling spots. I don't know. I may have to just go to Goodwill and get some index cards because I don't want to spend a lot of money on them. And then a journaling card here. And I added just a small bit of lace there. I try to be very conscious to make sure, like I said, that there is places for you to journal on because why else would you have a journal if you couldn't journal in it? And then we've got a lot of space there. I added a little bit of lace here that was already woven with this blue uh, ribbon there. And then in here, I've tucked in a couple of things. That I know is from Rachel from Roxy Creation. This is a fabric pocket here. It's a music fabric and I just stitched around it. I make sure whenever I do um, a pocket with fabric, I back it with a little bit of paper so that it is a little bit stronger. And then this is Florentine paper that you can journal on and it just kind of flips out. Washi tape, a beautiful tag here. An envelope here. Let's see if I can open this one up. <laughs> I don't want to tear it. Oh, it flips out. That's one thing it does. So it, it is a flip out envelope. Get under, oh yeah, this one does good. And uh, did I not put anything in there? Oh yes, I did. I thought, what, did I not put anything in there? Yes, there is something in there. So that one um, opened up easily. So it just tucks in underneath there. And then just some of my faux uh, aged um, scotch tape there and then that is the end of the second small journal and you can see like I said all you have to do to close them up is just tie a knot and I am going to still go ahead and do that I will leave this out so that I don't forget it but if I don't tie it when I turn it over it kind of flops around so then that's the one I just showed you. If I turn it over like that, that's now going to be the third and fourth journals. I tell you, I haven't, I, 
you know, I would be interested for more people, more journal makers to make these types of journals. It, it is time consuming, but I like that they're really different. Let's see, I think I got quite the knot here. It's because I wanted to double uh, double the, the ribbon there. But anyway, I would love to see more people make these journals um, and have them in their shop. So we've got a nice little journaling card there and I added some lace around it, some washi tape there. And I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I like to watch flip throughs of journals because I get inspiration and sometimes I forget things. And so if I watch other people's flip throughs, then it reminds me, oh yeah, don't forget to add that to a journal. Don't forget to do that. And so I hope that you also enjoy flip throughs. We've got lots of journaling spots there, a little tuck there with a card, uh, some antique Italian paper book page there. Again, a nice little place to journal. I added just a small piece of ribbon up to the top there. And then a journaling card. And this is a, one of those uh, flip outs to where you you it it you have a pocket here and then a flip out here and i think i mentioned um if you want to try to find some of the wormy paper from rachel at roxy creations i think this some of this is from the 1600s and and uh 1700s but it's quite old I did look in her shop the other day and it didn't look like she had any, but that doesn't mean she's not going to be able to get some more. She's always replenishing her store. Some eco dyed paper there. I have an envelope here attached and with it's got a, a small little journaling card in there. I backed it with some French book page and then it just goes over to the side there. I just think that's so pretty. I don't do a lot of decorating, decorating of my paper clips because to me it makes them so cumbersome and if I just buy the gold ones I think those look pretty. So you can even journal there. And then I've got some washi tape there and that's journal number three. And then the fourth one I added just a little bit of um, gold applique or part of lace there. I just think that looks so beautiful sticking out there. We have a little pocket here with a journaling tag. Another one here, and it's got some pretty pink fabric on the top of it. We have some... Uh, tracing paper that again I strengthened it with some of that pet tape. A nice big journaling card here with some gold ribbon up at the top and then I embellished it with this beautiful uh, fussy cut image there. I have another envelope here uh, I'm sure there's something in that. I'm not going to pull that out. I have a little tuck here. Beautiful Italian paper. And again, I used some of the Nouveau drops on this. If you look real close, you can maybe see that you can feel that it's got a small little raised area, but not enough to impede in the journal. Got some Florentine paper that I cut out there, a little cluster there, a small little bit of lace there, a journaling card with a music paper 
pocket and this was from one of my jelly prints. This is a flip up here. It flips up like that. It's attached with washi tape. So you're able to journal there and journal there. And then it just flips down. And then the washi tape, you can see it there. We have a nice little pocket here. Again, I, I on, on almost every single page of my journals, I make sure that you've got place to write. You can even write there. And so that is the end of the fourth small journal. So I will put this in my Etsy store. If you are interested in purchasing it, I would love for it to find a new home. It would be especially nice as a prayer journal. So I'm going to come back over here, turn the camera off. I'm going to fix this and add that back to the journal. And that's it for this flip through.